All right, today we're going to be continuing with the 3D printing effort, and I'm going to be printing a stand for this Volca modular. So I have positioned it on my sort of workspace, which I would like to design into a bit of a console, and uh, taken some measurements just using a little um, cheapy, you know, measuring tape like this, and uh, come up to you know about 50 millimeters of height here. And on the back, it wants to be like 70 or 80. I have the measurements written down. And now I'm going to go into Tinkercad and try to design something, uh, maybe importing some things that I found off of Thingiverse. So I'll try to uh, do a little screen cap of the design process, and then we'll uh, take that model, slice it, and, and print it. Hopefully, by the end of the day, we'll have uh, a stand. All right, let's see what happens. All right, we're back at the printer, and as you saw, I laid out two of those uh, Volca stands. And uh, so first, we'll just go ahead and put the card in. Those prints, you can see I've already heated the print, bre print bed, because that takes a while. The hot end heats much more quickly. Card menu, Volca riser. Okay, so that should print. And now we'll just clean up the build plate and prepare it. All right, it's been a couple days since the last print. I haven't made any adjustments <clears throat> to the machine, except I did just uh, increase the flow rate to 106 from 100. Um, so hopefully that helps this print uh, to become uh, to become out more complete, especially in the, the initial layers. And here we'll see if it's actually going to adhere well. Looks like that may work, so we'll come back in a couple minutes and check on that. Once there's like a second layer, I think we'll, we'll have a better idea. So that didn't work out very well. We need to go in and disable the steppers, and then we'll uh, just lift this and move this out, because I want to show you this. Basically, this area right here didn't stick, so that means that the build plate, like over here, it's pretty good, but for some reason, this side is now low. I didn't really move anything. It can matter if you have the printer at an angle or something, but anyway, what we do from here would be to auto home it again uh, by adjusting this little nut again with the micro switch. And we might have to uh, lower these other sections of the print bed. Hmm. That actually feels good, so maybe we'll just give it another shot and see if there was maybe just a minor hiccup in the initial printing process. Oh, there also wasn't any hairspray on that side. So I'll just, I'll raise up the uh, hot end and make sure I get some hairspray under that section.
nice. Now it looks like it just works. So I think, yeah, it was a lack of adhesive. Okay, anyway. Now I'll go to time lapse and we'll fast forward. Okay, we're back. We're about halfway through. This was a few hours in. I didn't watch it for a little while, and now I see a problem. And let me move this uh, out of the way. Disable steppers. Move this. And what we've got right here started coming up, and um, that doesn't get better. That only gets worse. Unfortunately, that means I need to stop this and probably just print a single one. Um, yeah, it's actually coming off, coming off over here as well. And uh, so part of this is sort of cleaning the build plate, putting more adhesive on, um, and then uh, we'll try it again, maybe just one at a time, rather than having two. Because basically, the the wider this part is, the more as it cools and uh, the more stress it puts on and, and wants to pull up. So we'll just try printing one at a time next time. One good thing about this is I can use these to test and make sure that it's actually the right dimensions to hold the Volca. Let me go get the Volca and we'll, we'll try and see if that fits. This sort of just reminds me after a while of not printing that you do want to test. Um, try and come up with small tests you can do that will you know take maybe half an hour to print rather than several hours because look at this. This thing doesn't actually fit. What you want is um, you kind of want like an extra millimeter or two of clearance after you print because you can always kind of make things tighter but if it doesn't fit very well, it's just, you know, you're not going to grind off a lot of plastic. So, okay. So we've got a little redesign to happen we'll, to do. We'll uh, make this thing a little bit wider by a couple millimeters. And then we'll print one at a time. And uh, that'll be our next, our next print. Okay, so it's all done, and it's looking pretty good. We had a little bit of the build plate uh, coming off the build plate here on this side, but I think it will be acceptable. Now we'll see if it fits. So this model has a couple of little gaps here to fit with a, another piece that's uh, square and then you can link two of these things together. So maybe this is the top one or the bottom one, but um, I'm only printing one of them because I'm, I'm not looking forward to, I'm not trying to stack 
two of these things together, but uh, that's an option later. So we'll just give it a rough file. And the part that's um, that came up off the build plate is on this side, so it's curved up just a little bit there. I'm considering getting a new 3D printer, but I wanted to see just how well this one's working still. If I can make it work and the quality is, you know, decent, then I'll just use this. But I know that um, there have been a lot of improvements. Uh, a lot of the newer printers have uh, enclosures. Um, this one, when I bought it, was about 700 bucks. It came as a kit, and I had to assemble it, as you see from every every screw, all these woodcut pieces, and then it has a uh, aluminum extrusions with belt drive. And I think a lot of the new ones are uh, using rods, and uh, well, just so many things have changed. So we'll consider all that if this doesn't work. I'm going to bring back the uh, Volca and we'll see if it fits. All right, so back with the Volca. And remember, I increased the size of this print a little bit to make it more accommodating. And now it seems like it just, just about fits. I think if I file it a little bit, this will, this will sit pretty nicely. And then the way it looks on the table would be something like this. And so you can see the part I added to the original model. Stiff enough, I think this will be fine. I can put some little rubber feet on the bottom so it won't slide around. So from here I'm going to print one more and then uh, we'll come back when it's all put together. Alright, we're back. We've printed two more. We did have one just randomly get turned into a little spaghetti so it came off the build plate surface. I made sure to put a bit more hairspray on the surface. This one looks like it also came off, so we're having a bit of an issue this is a good argument for uh, getting a new printer as uh, I'm pretty sure the, the new stuff doesn't have these same issues. Actually looking at this again and realizing it's the bottom rear of the stand, I'm going to go ahead and just clean this one up. I will both of these up and, um, and go ahead and use them. And then I'll, I have, uh, I'll have two full sets which will be uh, good. I'll show you what the two Volkas look like side by side in these stands. Okay, so those two are both cleaned up, roughly, pretty good shape. I'll come back and uh, with 
all four. I'm going to put a couple of rubber feet on these as well to show you. Okay, so I'm back with some rubber feet and also with uh, these two prints and another Volca, so we'll just be able to show them side by side. This just basically snaps on like that, and the little rubber feet on the bottom of this help to keep it keep it aligned if you're moving it around. And there we go. Very nice for the console to have it with other musical gear and maybe you'll see it in a future video. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Alright, later.